Hey everyone, Rick with Rick's 135th Scale Models with another project. Uh, today I'm going to be building the Hobby Boss LKW 7 ton dump truck uh, in the Bundeswehr scheme. And uh, it's 135th scale. I already did a review on the actual kit itself, but now we're going to build it. So let's get started. So for this kit, I'm going to be using different techniques. I'm going to be using this Fowler's uh, Super Expert glue. On top of that, at times, I'll be using a standard stick glue. This will be a tester's one. Um, and then I may have times I'm going to want to use a, like a liquid glue, depending on what I'm gluing. Uh, the way the instructions work, you work on the lower chassis, build a bunch of different parts, and then you start putting it all together to build the frame. So let's get going. Okay, so I built the lower chassis part, and there were some little things I noticed that uh, I wanted to make you aware of when you're building. Uh, first of all, this part up here, which is part number B10, indicated right here, uh, it sits like this. So the way the instructions have you putting it in like this, each end has a different piece so that you can only put it in one way, but make sure that you have this facing which would technically be the downward, so when it sits in here, it's sitting upward. The other thing is it doesn't tell you at this point if you glue this part back here, which is part of the hydraulic lift. I would assume you do not, um, but it doesn't indicate one way or the other in the instructions, so I did not glue it because I can always come back in later and uh, put some glue in there to shore it up. But at this point, um, I didn't, so I would recommend not gluing that in case... Uh, down the road it ends up not supposed to be glued um, the last thing is in the instructions they have you putting in the transmission what I would suggest is don't the reason why is after you glue this together you can set it down on the, the work surface let it cure nice and square and flat or if you put this in uh, it, it, it there's no real way to have it sit without this thing wanting to move around um, once it's in, it is real easy to get it in there and glue it. So all you have to do is move it around a little bit, and then you can get it in to glue it squared up. This part will be nice and solid. 
um, cause it wants to bow around until you get it all in there and glued cause of getting all these in. So that's a little trick, uh, during the build I would suggest you do.
So I've completed the build of the actual truck and it's time to start painting. I've taken some still pictures here to show you the details. Um, as you can see, there's lots of small PE part details. They're not too hard to install, but it does take a little bit of time, especially on the dump portion. The stairs and all that under here are really high detailed. The undercarriage is amazing. The uh, overall quality of this vehicle is, is outstanding. You can see the interior, which is like on all the other uh, man trucks that Hobby Boss has produced. Uh, but the overall uh, quality, like I said, is just outstanding on it. Uh, looking at real pictures, it really lends itself to a diorama display where you can uh, pose it in certain ways. You can turn the wheels. You could have the dump up or down, uh, make the vehicle grubby, dirty, and... Uh, really make a nice diorama if you want to or just have a static display of just the model itself so anyway that's my review uh, I'm gonna start the painting process next um, like and subscribe any questions or comments please reach out to me check me out on my Facebook page or email me it's all in the text take care everyone and see you on the next one bye bye